Hey guys, in this video, I'll explain you about the mediastinum and its contents. So basically, uh, this topic was requested by one of the group members today. So I thought I would make a video and uh, post it as soon as possible. So I got time today, so I'm making this video. Uh, coming to the mediastinum uh, divisions, so you have to know that uh, there are two parts of mediastinum, major divisions, which are superior mediastinum and the inferior mediastinum. And in the inferior mediastinum, you again have these three divisions called as anterior, middle and the posterior mediastinum. So look at this, uh, you are understanding, right? The red part, which is superior mediastinum box and the green box is the inferior mediastinum. And in the green box, you again have three blue boxes, which are anterior, middle and posterior mediastinum. Now that we have uh, known the uh, divisions, let us see uh, in the anatomical image so that you'll have that uh, uh, imprintation in your mind. So see, here you have this superior mediastinum. Uh, let me change the color. So yeah, this is the superior mediastinum and the inferior mediastinal part. So we need to understand what exactly divides the mediastinum into two different divisions. So there is an imaginary line which joins the sternal angle, right, the sternal angle and to the point between T4 and the upper T5 vertebra. So this is the, this is the vertebral column, right? So here you have this T4 and T5. So the line joining the sternal angle to the T4 and T5 divides the mediastinum into superior and the inferior mediastinum. This sternal angle is otherwise called as angle of Lewis, which is uh, formed by the joining of rib 2, guys. So let me arise this. So if I say this is the rib 2, this is the rib 1. And if we uh, draw rib 2 here, so let us consider this as rib 2. So the attachment or the joint formed by the rib 2 to the sternum, that angle is called as sternal angle or angle of Lewis. Right. Uh, so we have divided uh, this into superior and inferior mediastinum. Now let us divide the inferior mediastinum into anterior, middle and the posterior. So the anterior is the sky blue part. Middle is this red part which has heart and the posterior is the green part which is having the thoracic iota in it. So, uh, yeah, let us get into the details of thoracic iota and all later. But firstly, understand this This is the green part is the posterior mediastinum. So, shall we find the extent of posterior mediastinum for now? See, uh, T5, 6, 7, T8, 9, 10, T11 and T12. So, the posterior mediastinal extent is from T5, right? The green part, look at the green part. This is the posterior mediastinum, right? So, T5, T12. To T12 is the extension of posterior mediastinum. So here itself we can tell that the posterior mediastinum is the uh, having the most deeper extent, like most lower extent till T12. And the middle mediastinum is the largest part of the inferior mediastinum. Whereas the posterior mediastinum is the deepest, like it goes till lower level, which is still T12 level. See the anterior is ending here only, middle is ending here, but the posterior is coming till this point. Right, so these are the important points that you need to know from this image. Now that we have understood this image and we have the basic idea of what superior mediastinum is and what inferior mediastinum is, let us also understand this image here. Okay, so the mediastinum, this is the second image that I have got. So this is the sternal bone which has manubrio sternal part, sternal body and the xiphoid process. And here you have the superior mediastinum. So this area is the superior mediastinum and the below one is anterior middle and posterior mediastinum right so let me label the image here so uh, this is the arch of iota right so this is the arch of iota so look at this guys if you consider uh, one second if you consider this as heart you have this arch of iota so look at here this is the right atrium left atrium right ventricle and left ventricle in order to understand just the schematic diagram i'm drawing so let us draw the arch of iota where does arch of iota arise from it arises from the left ventricle right so arch of iota like see ascending iota is coming it is forming this arch of iota and it is going down as descending iota so let me label this for you this is the ascending iota this is the arch of iota and this is the descending iota, which is otherwise called as thoracic iota. And this arch of iota is having three branches, which are B, C 
and S. So B is brachiocephalic trunk which comes from the right side and C is common carotid artery which is left to common carotid artery and subclavian artery which is left to subclavian artery. So look at this, the brachiocephalic trunk divides into two other branches. See you have left common carotid and left subclavian. So who gives right common carotid and right subclavian? That should be brachiocephalic trunk. So brachiocephalic trunk gives right subclavian artery and right common carotid artery and this goes and divides into ICA, ECA that is a different story. Let us uh, confine our discussion today till this level okay like the branches coming out of arch of iota ascending and descending iota. Now that uh, you have understood this basic structure tell me where does ascending iota lie? Ascending iota is more proximal to the heart it's just arising from the heart so it must be in the medial middle mediastinum right along with the heart whereas the arch of iota is going superiorly so if this is the medium middle mediastinal part this is, becomes the superior mediastinal part right so that's why uh, the arch of iota here see the arch of iota here is in the superior mediastinum okay now uh, from the arch of iota, you have these three branches, which are not labeled here. I have labeled them for you in this schematic image. And see, the arch of iota is continuing below, downward, which is the thoracic iota for you. Right? So, all the, uh, mostly the important things I have uh, taught now, let us enter into that table. So, it becomes palatable now. Superior mediastinum. So, see guys, uh, this is the neck, this is the body, let us suppose, even though if it uh, doesn't look like that, please uh, imagine that this is the neck and this is the body. So from the neck into the thoracic cavity, the two major structures, that is the windpipe and the footpipe. So the trachea and the esophagus, right? So the windpipe and the footpipe, two major pipes are coming from above. So obviously they should be in the superior mediastinum, right? So look at this diagram. Here you have this trachea and this is the esophagus. So all these two are in the superior mediastinal part. So trachea is done, esophagus is done. Now coming to an uh, organ or the gland that is thymus gland. Thymus gland is present in the superior mediastinum. So look at here guys. Uh, I'll erase this part. One second. Yeah. So look at this uh, thymus part. Thymus is extending from the superior mediastinum into the anterior mediastinum. So that is the most important point that the thymus is present in both mediastinum that is superior and the anterior mediastinum which is a part of inferior mediastinum. So look at here the thymus you will have in the superior mediastinum as well as the inferior extension is present in the anterior mediastinum. Okay. Now coming to the vessels, you yourself uh, decide now which vessels are there. One is arch of iota and from that comes the three. So left to common carotid, left to subclavian, okay, brachiocephalic trunk, okay and what else? What else is given? This is the uh, venous system which is given. And one artery. So uh, look at here. If you are drawing an uh, arterial system out of the heart. Which is uh, coming out uh, from the heart. There is venous system also right. So into the right uh, atrium. There drains the superior vena cava. And into the right atrium from beneath. There comes the inferior vena cava right. So the superior vena cava part. Upper part is there. And the lower part is there. So the lower uh, part of superior vena cava is in the middle mediastinum whereas the upper part of the superior vena cava is in the superior mediastinum and into the superior vena cava they drains this azygous vein right azygous vein drains into the superior vena cava so look at here the venous system superior vena cava's upper half and the azygous vein near its opening into the superior vena cava so look at here this is the upper half and this is the lower half of the superior vena cava. Let us suppose like that. So upper half is present in the superior mediastinum along with the arch of iota. Whereas the lower half is present in the middle mediastinum along with the heart structures. And there is one important uh, uh, this nerve which is called as left laryngeal, left recurrent laryngeal nerve. So remember that point. Left recurrent, uh, recurrent laryngeal nerve is also present in the superior mediastinum. Now coming to the inferior mediastinum. 
So inferior mediastinum has this anterior, middle and posterior uh, divisions, right? Coming to the anterior division, you have this thymus inferior extension, which is explained in the image. And you have this sternopericardial ligaments. So that is so obvious, guys. So look at uh, this diagram. I am uh, erasing this thymus part. Now that you have understood. And let us draw these ligaments with blue. So sternopericardial ligament. This is the pericardium and this is the sternal body. So let us draw a few ligaments, imaginary ones. Where are they lying? They are lying in the anterior pericardium, right? I mean, an anterior mediastinum, right? So that is obvious. Sternopericardial ligaments are present in the anterior mediastinum. And the thymus, which is already learned. And there are some mediastinal branches of internal thoracic vessels. You can ignore that. Coming to the middle mediastinum, which is all about our heart. So see, middle mediastinum. Uh, let me highlight it for you. So, yeah. In the middle mediastinum, M, you have this V in between. Okay. So, let us make a, a mnemonic out of it. So, let me draw an inverted V also. Okay. This is the inverted V and this is the straight V. So, from the straight V, can we make heart out of it? Yes. And from the inverted V, can we think it as trachea? Right. So, this is the trachea and it's bifurcation into the bronchi. So, this image you are understanding, right? From the letter M, we have made this mnemonic of heart and tracheal bifurcation. So, heart is there and tracheal bifurcation is there. Trachea bifurcates into what, guys? Primary bronchi, right? So, it's bronchi. And what are all there? Roots of the great vessels. So, what are the roots of great vessels? So, look at here. In the middle mediastinum, you have this ascending aorta arising. So, that must be the answer. And from the right ventricle, there is one artery. There is one trunk that arises. What is that? That is pulmonary trunk, right? So, from the right uh, ventricle, you have this pulmonary trunk arising. So, you have ascending aorta, pulmonary trunk and its branches arising. And look at this diagram. Isn't superior vena cava entering into right atrium? So, it also the lower half of superior vena cava here. And the inferior vena cava is also in the middle mediastinum. So, the venous system, superior vena cava and the inferior vena Here, they have mentioned particularly that the lower half, which I am emphasizing in this diagram since uh, 5 minutes, that uh, lower half in the middle mediastinum and the upper half is in the superior mediastinum. And what are there? Pericardiophrenic arteries and veins. This also you can ignore. The major uh, important things that you need to remember. Coming to the posterior, uh, this thing, what posterior uh, mediastinal structures, this is the most uh, easiest part. If you have watched my diaphragmatic openings video. So, what are the major openings of diaphragm? Uh, I have taught you T8, T10, and T12. Recall with me uh, so that uh, you'll have this revision uh, kind of thing. So, what are the structures that pass through T10, guys? The mnemonic is 10th nerve, right? 10th nerve is vagus. And T10, you have this 0 out of that I have made, esophagus, right? So, 10th nerve and esophagus. Coming to T12, uh, what are the structures that pass through T12? The mnemonic was that 12, right? So, that is thoracic duct, isn't it? Thoracic duct. H is for hemiazygous vein. In fact, TH is for thoracic duct. Only H is for hemiazygous vein. Only A is for azygous vein. And one more A is for iota, right? What is that iota? Descending iota or the thoracic iota. Isn't it? So look at the structures that are passing through posterior mediastinum. Vagus and esophagus. Find it out. Vagus, esophagus. So T10 level. Examples of T10 level. Coming to rest 4, that is thoracic iota, thoracic duct, zygous vein, hemiazygous vein, all these 4 are T12. So, if you know the T10 and T12 openings, posterior mediastinum is done. That's all. You, you don't have to mug it up. Just T10 and T12 mnemonics. And coming to one more structure that I have been ignoring since long time, which is thoracic duct. Okay. Thoracic duct starts from superior mediastinum level. I mean, uh, it just goes... Uh, uh, if you consider this as superior mediastinum and the, it, this is the inferior mediastinum which has anterior, middle and posterior mediastinum. Let me draw thoracic duct with blue color. So, thoracic duct goes like this guys. So, it is only involving the superior mediastinal part and the posterior mediastinum. So, find thoracic duct in this uh, table. So, we have thoracic duct here, right? 
and thoracic duct in the posterior mediastinum which is a part of inferior mediastinum and uh, let me tell you one more point here yeah uh, i'll tell that point in the question so now you have understood everything right what are the structures mediastinum uh, everything is clear now so uh, let us revise now in the form of this uh, question okay so let's answer this there are this is actually the four uh, questions uh, where is left subclavian artery seen in which part of the mediastinum so just close your eyes imagine the diagram of the heart so the arch of iota is arising like ascending iota then comes the arch of iota from the arch of iota we have this left subclavian artery so what it must be left subclavian should be the part of superior mediastinum right because it is coming from arch of iota look at here this is the arch of iota so the left subclavian should be the part of superior mediastinum now comes the hemiazygous this i know that for sure that twelve. so hemiazygous definitely it is in the posterior mediastinal part now coming to the option number d uh, the third uh, fourth one fourth question sternopericardial this i already taught sternum heart so the ligaments it should be in the anterior mediastinum because this is the middle mediastinum that is done what about the phrenic now guys i i have deliberately skipped it in the table phrenic now if you have uh, watched that carefully you would answer that where phrenic now is seen see phrenic now uh, have taught you in the diaphragmatic openings video that video is so important see uh, if you consider this as the heart this is the heart you have two nerves passing along the heart border this is the right phrenic now and the left phrenic now. So this is the right phrenic now and this is the left phrenic now. And here you have this diaphragm. So in the diaphragm at T8 level, only the right phrenic now passes. Whereas the uh, left phrenic now just pierces the diaphragm randomly. This point I have taught you in the T8 mnemonic which has vena cava. Right? Vena cava has 8 letters in it. So it passes through T8 and 8 for 8 for right eight and right are uh, almost same spelling right rhyming words eight and right so the right phrenic now also passes through this t8 level so if you uh, have this uh, image in this di uh, in your mind you'll answer that the phrenic nerve is in the middle mediastinum because the phrenic nerves both right and left are going so adjacent to the heart that they must be located in the middle mediastinum okay so the phrenic now uh, find it out here see here there is the phrenic now which is in the middle media stenum so yeah uh, this is so easy guys this media stenal content uh, topic is so easy i think i have uh, made it a little palatable now so let me uh, know if you have any further difficulty in this topic and please suggest uh, topics for the further videos thank you if you like this kind of content please do like share and subscribe to the channel and good luck bye